this is a tutorial of Nexus font. On your desktop, you'll see the Nexus font program installed. When you open it up, it will load the system default fonts. Now, if you want to add custom fonts, I recommend putting a My Fonts folder or Custom Fonts folder in your Documents folder. And in Nexus Font, in your library, we're going to create a new folder group. I'm going to just call this Custom Fonts. You can call it whatever you'd like. And then in here, I'm going to add a folder. And we're going to add the my fonts folder. Now, in the my fonts folder, I have a Helvetica new font folder in there, and you can see it did not load the fonts. It's because it's in this other folder. It'll only load the fonts from the directory. So, if we want to add that, we need to add the Helvetica new folder. To do that, we right click on custom fonts, go add folder, and we browse the directory we want to load. So you can see it's scanning the fonts. And simply by doing this, it will activate the fonts. So if I go to WordPad, Since it was closed, um, I have Helvetica available to use. Now, I've already taken the liberty of downloading something else, which we will add to the fonts folder. And before we do that, we're just going to have WordPad open again. We're going to add this font into the My Fonts directory. Now you can see it didn't automatically add it. You need to refresh the directory. So you can do this by clicking on and off the My Fonts, or you can hit F5, which will also refresh the directory. Now that is called uh, Caution Script Regular. So in my fonts folder here, H, oh, so WordPad automatically loaded it, but if you have an app like uh, Word, uh, you'll have to close and relaunch the application to load the font typically. Then if you want to remove the font, you can delete the font file and then the font gets removed. So we open up our WordPad again. You can see the font is gone. Now, a word of warning, I would not go around adding a whole bunch of fonts uh, because uh, as you can see here, we have 83 fonts, so every time you refresh the cost the custom fonts it'll uh, basically load all the fonts that you have within the directories here as you can see it's doing a big scan now and the number of Helvetica new fonts that we have is about two-thirds of uh, what we already have installed so one of the nice things about this program is that this does not add fonts to the system font directory, in which case it doesn't bog down your uh, load time uh, when you restart uh, or when you log in. And that is the tutorial for Nexus Font.